Welcome back champions to the beginning of skill development for verbal reasoning. Today we're going through the meanings of true, false and can't tell. Okay, so why are we going through this? Well, one of the main issues students have right at the beginning of their verbal reasoning journeys is confusing the answer meanings in the TFCT question. So the goal of today's class is to alleviate any confusion regarding this topic. So let's get right to it. If the passage makes a point, okay, and your question has a direct link to that passage, as in you can literally see word for word that whatever's being said is in the statement of the question as well, then yes, this is going to be true. If the passage makes a point and your question is saying, or a statement, which actually infers something from that passage, then that is also true. And the key is between an inference and an assumption. So an inference is something where you can read what's being said in the passage and it is being implied that um, whatever the statement is in the question is true. So when it comes to can't tell, if you have to make an indirect link, so not something that's directly stated in the passage, if you have to make an indirect link, bringing in any sort of prior knowledge or having to make any sort of assumption on a case-by-case -case basis, then that has to be can't tell, okay? And false is only when there is a point in the passage and your statement actually directly contradicts whatever was being said in the passage. So when there's an incorrect link, that is false, okay? But I know this can get a bit confusing at times. So let's have a go through some examples to make sure that we have everything down pat, okay? So let's have a go through a correct versus an incorrect link first. The passage will tell you, with raw materials, the veggie might become scarce. Customers are forced to buy from dominant retail at Kraft, one of the very few supplies left. So the statement says Kraft are a supplier of Vegemite at the current moment. Would this be true, false, or can't tell? Okay, this would be true because it says that Kraft are one of the very few suppliers left. Therefore, they have to be a supplier of Vegemite at the current moment because they're still remaining. Okay, what if we change this to Kraft are the only supplier of Vegemite at the current moment? Well, in a case like this, this would actually be false because we can see that the statement or the passage rather says here that there are few supplies left, meaning more than one left. Therefore, Kraft cannot be the only supplier of Vegemite left at the current moment. Let's clarify an inference versus an assumption now. Aaliyah arrives at home at 4.30 and knows that her mother does not get off of her work until 5.00. Aaliyah also sees that the lights are off in their house. So the statement says Aaliyah's mother is not home. This would be true because here, because the passage says so, it is fact that her mother does not get off work until five because it's 4.30 and before five, there's no way that Aaliyah's mother could be home. You could sit there and say, oh, what if it's a day off? What if this, what if that? The fact that you're having to ask yourself those what ifs is you making those assumptions, okay? Because in this passage, we can see directly that she does not get off work until five, and we can infer from that that she's not home. This would be a true. What if we change the wording just slightly? Aaliyah arrives at home at 4.30 and knows that her mother does not usually get off of her work until five. Aaliyah also sees that the lights are off in their house. The statement says Aaliyah's mother is not home. Can we tell? No, we can't. Because the word you usually hear is the key difference. Because usually it could mean, yes, she's uh, still working before five. Or there could be the odd case where she has the day off and she is at home at, say, 4.30. Okay? Because we don't know anything else about this particular situation and saying that she's in her home, yes, or that she's not in her home, this would be a pure guess at this point in time. Therefore, we simply cannot tell whether Aaliyah's mother is home or not. 
So I hope this clarifies inference versus assumption. So let's try and put this into practice with some actual passages, okay? Some examples of some true false can't tell questions. Feel free to pause the video here and have a go at this question. Alrighty, hopefully we've all had a read of the passage now, had an attempt at this question. What does it say? The effects of meditation are having positive effects in businesses by reducing levels of stress and anxiety of employees. Well, if we put all of this together, we can see that this is in fact true. Having a look at those red boxes, we can see that meditation has found application in non-spiritual contexts such as business, productivity, and health. Obviously, it's got the word businesses here, and that's where the employees are going to be. And on top of that, it said this, there is now evidence that meditation significantly reduces stress, anxiety, and depression, and so on and so forth. So from these two sentences, really, we can infer that this is true. Okay. But it's important to note that we need this combination in order to say that this is true. Had this not been here, then there's nothing that tells you meditation reduces stress, anxiety, or anything else. Okay. You might know from your own experience that meditation might help with stress and anxiety, but that is you bring in your prior knowledge, which is the equivalent of making an assumption about meditation in this passage. Had this not been here, you might know about all of the great effects of meditation, but um, you can't say definitively that this is being um, applied in the realm of business and that they're having a positive effect by reducing stress on employees. Okay, So it's the combination of these two which really allows us to make the inference that we do to say that this option is true. Now, let's have a look at the next question. Feel free to pause the video here and have a go. So now that we've had a go at this question, let's have a read. Meditation programs in schools are being used to reduce stress and anxiety among students. When we have a look at the entirety of the passage, we recognize that the application to school students is simply not there at all. And because it's not there, we have to say that this is a can't tell, okay? Perhaps even in your school, you might have felt, or you might have had some sessions where uh, they've tried to get you to do some meditation and you've seen for yourself that, yes, it is actually being implemented within schools, okay? But simply because it's not being mentioned in this passage, you have to say that this is a can't tell. And moving on to our last question, feel free to pause the video now and have a go. Alrighty, so meditation has been found simple to define by scholars. This, because of the red box, would be false. They've said here, scholars have found meditation elusive to define. That is to say that the definition is almost escaping their grasp, okay? And for that, it, this directly contradicts what is being said here. Simple to define and elusive to define are pretty much antonyms very opposites of one another. Therefore, this is false. An incorrect link is being made. So that brings us to the end of the true, false, can't tell answer meanings class. Okay, hopefully I've been able to really clarify what each one of true, false, and can't tell means. And from here, it's all about practice. So moving on to our action items, I want you to practice true, false, can't tell questions on Metafire. Focus on nailing these down just for just a few days and focus on accuracy before you even think about speed. If you're still making errors in these questions, ask yourself why. Because the only way to fix these errors is to see where you are making unjustified assumptions. Okay. But with all of that being said, thank you. Well done. And I will see you in the next video.